friends, how are you enjoying your right hand exercises? Today we will learn Saregama, the first left hand movements. Before we start, I would like to tell you, in left hand we use these three fingers, the point which we will refer as finger number one, the most important finger, finger number one. The middle finger, finger number two. The ring finger or the finger number three. Point is the most important finger and these two are supporting fingers. Before we explain how to play which finger to use and that. Let me just play the scale for you once. Then I will explain things. We start from string number two, which is this Sa, and then string one, like that. Second string, open string. Re, first finger, second string. Ga, first, second string, third finger. Ma, first string, open. Pa, first finger. Dha, first finger, Ni, first finger, Sa, second finger, Sa, So, Sa, no finger, second string. Re, first finger. Ga, third finger. Ma, first string, open string. Pa, first finger. Dha, first finger. Ni, first finger. Sa, second finger. Same way, coming back, Sa, second finger. Then, Ni, Dha, Pa, first finger, first finger, first finger. Ma, open string, ga, second string, third finger, re, first finger, sa, open string, second string. Why is it so? Have you ever followed cricket? In cricket, we see batsman taking run, it goes from one end to the other end. So there, this is our batsman. This batsman goes from here to the other side. And if that bat batsman needs to come back, then he just touches the crease with his bat. These two are our bat. We don't go up to that crease, but we just touch the bat. So either with this one or with that one and come back. So in any string, the last note is played with either the second finger or the third finger. Then how do we decide which finger to use? If it is a full note gap, then it becomes third finger. In case of sa, re, ga, re, ga has a full note gap. That's why you can see the gap is that big. That's why we are using the third finger. Then when we are in the first string, ma pa tha, ni, we are going with all with first finger. Then in sa, sa is a half note gap, semitone gap. That's why it is very close to each other. That's why we are using 
the sa with our second finger. That is the basic rule of the game. So, sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni, sa. Same way coming back, sa, ni, dha, pa, ma, ga, re, sa. I'm playing it again. And you will be playing it only with da for first seven days. And I will tell you how, how uh, things can be improved uh, with some more help. I will explain you that. Let me play the scale a couple of times for you. the golden rule don't try to play very fast you have to play very slow and hit all the notes in regular intermission like not like then no not like that play slow but play sa re ga if you are not comfortable in that speed Go even slower. Sa, re. How will you know exactly where to play? Because quite often we see that our many friends, they don't have any musical background. I mean, what do I mean by that is their ears are not trained to identify the exact pitch of the note. Here, again, we will take the advantage or the help of technology. You have seen, I mean, dear, in that episode of Tuning Sarod, we have been taking the help from that software, Pano Tuner, which helps you in identifying the exact pitch. Like the first string we have tuned in Ma, our Sarod is right now tuned in scale C. So the Ma was F, Sa was C, Pancham Pa was G. And again, bass sa was C. So here also, we can do that. Take the help of that. Here, sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni will be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Again, coming back, C, B, a, G, F, E, D, C. So, we can just take a marker pen and start that piano tuner and we can first tune our instrument like the second string will be tuned in C. You can check and, and, and tune your second string perfectly. Then you try to play. When you see that it is hitting just the D, then make a mark there. Then come to Then you can see it is in E. That means Ga. 
from C scale. Make a mark. So you have the three notes already. Sa is open string, sa, then, then, ma is again open string. You check that whether your first string is exactly tuned in ma, means F or not. Once it is tuned in F, then try pa. Pa will be exactly where in second string you have played the re. So it will be just there. So try that. Once you are okay with that, then just make a mark of that. Then dha will be exact from where you have played the ka in second string. So make a mark of dha. Then almost with equal distance, ni will be another full note. So you can just check. I mean, you have to check with your piano tuner that so this is knee means the B B then the Sa Sa is C again this will be a semitone gap so, so the gap will be very small so you, you just mark it so at the beginning for at least 15 days to one month, you can just follow this marking and play on top of that. So then if you play it like before you make, give the marking, make sure your Sa and Ma is absolutely tuned in C and F. Then only in respect to that, your positions will be right. Practice with Da only. At that time, concentrate mainly on your left hand. Sometimes you might hit like, I mean, you want to play the second string and you are Anyway, hitting the first string, that can happen. But don't look at your right hand that much. Concentrate fully on your left hand and play again, slow but steady. Watch the marking play and within a short time, your ears will get attuned with that. And again, playing that scale for you Sa, first finger, third finger, open string, first finger, first finger, first finger, second finger, second finger, first finger, first finger, first finger, open string, third finger. First finger, open string. Try not to lift your finger that much, especially the point, the first finger. very very patient with this and friends it is extremely important to get your basics right so invest as much time possible and be very patient with your practice play slowly steady and follow the marks concentrate maximum 90 percent on your left hand keep practicing at least Saregama for five minutes. If you can do two times or three times in a day, it's perfect for you. Wonderful. Happy practicing. <laughs>